There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Earth Science Zone. But wait, there's more. And today, ladies and gentlemen, in Earth Science TV, we're going to be calculating density. Please make sure you have today a calculator with you and your notebook available. If you don't have a calculator or a notebook, please stop the video now, get it, and then start the video back up. We'll begin with this information being in your notebook. Please always make sure you have the date. Title today is Calculating Density. It's a formula for density. This is probably review. Density is a measure of comparing the mass and the volume of any object or substance. If we write something on the board, it's something you should write in your notebook. I have a formula. And of course, you may abbreviate and shorten the formula for that. You simply put in the number. 42.3 gram divided by 17.2 cubic centimeter. And at this point, please stop the video, do your calculation, and turn the video back on once you have it. Whenever we do calculations like this, one decimal place will do the trick for us. Therefore, by rounding to one decimal point, you come up with a density of this object of 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. Let's try another example. Not only for practice, but you'll see why we're doing this example too. Again, EX means we're just making up numbers for an example. We need a mass and we need a volume. In this case, we'll use a mass of 19.6 grams and a volume of 84.1 cubic centimeters. We will always begin with the formula. just to make sure we're doing it correctly, and substitute in our numbers. 19.6 grams divided by 84.1 cubic centimeters. And once again, stop the video, do your calculation, and turn the video back on once you have an answer. Back we are, rounding off to the nearest tenth of a gram. We should get 0.2 grams per cubic centimeter. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, don't break the rules of math. If you got a number higher than this, it's not 84 divided by 19 rounding off. It's always top number divided by the bottom number. But that number is less than one. Yes, it is. Great observation. So we figured out you can have densities that are less than 1.0. And I think you know what that means. Anything less than 1.0 will float in water. Yeah, man. How cool is it that we can do the calculation for density, but also make the inference that whatever this object is, we know it would float in water because it's less dense than 1.0. Very cool. Yeah, man. We'll do another example from your notebook with your calculator ready. In this case, some diagram work. Part of science is just practice making some diagrams. So again, Vx. All it means we're just making up an example here. 
And this is cool practice for making a diagram like this. Again, if you want to stop the video at any time, you may do that. We're going to make a three-dimensional diagram. Very cool. Takes a little bit of practice. Feel free to stop the video at any time. Try to make a three-dimensional diagram. We also know that we need some measurements on here. We'll label this. Five centimeters. I'm glancing at my diagram to make it the same. Centimeters and four centimeters. Okay, good. Just a reminder about the volume. We remember that the volume, the length times the width times the height. Please remember we multiply and we don't add. And please remember the order doesn't matter when you're multiplying. So let's try this one out. Density equals mass over volume. In the real world, of course, for the mass, we place it on a triple beam balance. In diagram world, we have to tell you. We will tell you that the mass is 160 grams. So here we go. The mass is 160 grams. Volume is the length times the width times the height. And please remember the order doesn't matter. Four times two times five, five times four times two, it doesn't matter. But when you multiply them correctly, we get for a volume for this. I'll go this way. Four times two is eight, times five is 40. 40 cubic centimeters. So far, the small wrinkle has been, you have to figure out what the volume is using this simple formula. Now it's simply arithmetic. Please stop your video, do the arithmetic any way you want, and start it back up when you have an answer. We do our calculations here with the calculator if you like. You can reduce, whatever you do in mathematics is fine. And we come up with a density of four grams per cubic centimeter. Very good, Mr. Donahoe, very good. Great job finding the density of this object. Now let's try this. Let's imagine we cut that object in half and we're gonna find the density of half of the piece. Try this please in diagram world. And part of science is just practice making your diagrams. That dotted line is if we cut that object in half. And we'll write down density of half of a piece, not the whole thing, but density of one half of that object that we just calculated. We're gonna ask you to give some thought to that, stop your video now, and give it some thought and call out what you think the density of half of that piece is gonna be. Yes, we said call it out. Maybe someone comes and knocks on your bedroom door. What are you calling out in there? You tell them, figuring out the density of half the piece. So go ahead and call it right out. Start the video when you're ready. By doing the arithmetic, we can see 80 divided by 20 is four grams per cubic centimeter. And that's where some of us might be surprised. And that's where we do this and we do this, and we do this. And please do not forget your smiley faces. You're the best. So what did we just figure out? One thing, getting density from a whiteboard world, uh, from a diagram, the other is by cutting this in half, we came up with the same density. This is one of our remember it forever rules, where we do a star, we're about to do some squigglies,
put some quotation marks here. Same material will have the same density. It does not matter what size you have. And we like to shorten it to this rule. Same stuff, same density. Ooh, that's cool. That's a great one. Same stuff, same density. I like that. Can we say that again? Let's try this one. We say same stuff, you say same density. Make sure you call it out. Here we go. Same, same stuff. stuff. One more time. Same, same stuff. stuff. Come on, call it out for really one more time. Same, same stuff. stuff. Same density. Awesome. Half last night? Even a bowling ball you cracked in half last night. Even a vase I broke in half last night with the bowling ball? Even the vase you broke in half last night with the bowling ball. Because... Same, same stuff. stuff. Same density. Boy, I better fix that vase soon. The foam has the same density regardless of its size. For instance, I rip it. One piece, two pieces, three, four pieces. They all have the same size. They all have the same density because they are the same stuff. Remember the rule. Same, same stuff, stuff, same, same density. density. Not only does it work for styrofoam, but it works for rocks as well. This piece of pumice, boulder, huge boulder, has, yep, believe it or not, it has the same density as this pebble-sized piece of pumice because they are both Pumice, therefore they're the same stuff, therefore same stuff, same density. Once again, thank you for tuning in to Earth Science Television, brought to you by Plague Productions. This episode featuring density, how to solve density, does it float, and the remember it forever rule, same stuff, same density. Make sure you follow up with any questions on our Earth Science Google Classrooms. Everybody have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the line.